So we had our son in 2011 and then in 2015 we had a miscarriage and that completely devastated me. Um, I think that was the first time that I had felt what grief was. And so I was trying to get my hands on any Christian material on miscarriage. And so I think I must've done a Google, a Google search of Christian miscarriage books. And I came across Pam and wrote down her title of her book. But I think because I, it wasn't a stillbirth, even though miscarriage is in the title, I didn't buy it. And so then, um, we had a daughter who was full term a year later. And so I thought once you got through the first trimester, everything would be fine. Like, so I knew I could have a miscarriage again, but I had no idea that you could lose a baby past the first trimester. And so last July 4th, 2018, I had a placental abruption and our son Asher was born and died. And that, you know, completely tore me apart. And that's when I went back to my journals. I think I was just trying to remember what I had learned from my miscarriage and seeing where I was at there. And that's when I saw Pam Breedeville, Empty Arms. And so I Googled it again, bought the book, and then saw that she was having this program coming out. And I was like, just thought it was perfect timing and knew that I had to join. Um, And so I've been so thankful to have this resource going through the worst time of my life. I know that it was absolutely devastating and how could it not be? Because all your hopes and dreams for your family going forward, your family growing, you were wanting this, you were planning it and everything gets shaken up. Mm-hmm. One of the things that I thought was so powerful about the way you um, approached your grief journey was you, you took such responsibility for what you could do and your part and obviously trusting God to do his part. And the thing that you did in such a cool way was watching the videos with your husband And I just Mm -hmm. thought that was such a smart approach. Talk to us a little bit about what was, what was helpful with that? What are some things that you learned about each other? I think just taking the time away from everything else to focus on our grief together was the the best thing because we knew it was kind of nice that there were so many different modules that we could be like, okay, this week we're going to do number one and then we'll get another babysitter the next week and do the second one um and so I just feel like opening the lines of communication and having kind of like the videos kind of be a guide was the most helpful thing and then feeling like we weren't alone we loved all the stories that Jesse and Pam said on there and I we rewatched them we'd like rewind it and like watch it again because those I feel like touched our heart the most just to hear from other moms who lost their children how they felt and we just I think it was good too for my husband to see like that we just that we weren't alone yeah and grief has a way of making us feel so alone because you've, you've got this empty space in your heart already from the loss of the child that you wanted. And then when, you, when you're surrounded by people that have never been through that before, they don't quite know what to do with it. So they typically avoid the subject and you do feel very alone. You're left alone kind of in a silent place to grieve by yourself. Mm -hmm. You guys are busy mom, busy dad, you know, (laughs) professional lives uh, that your husband has and you're a busy mom with another young one and all kinds of activities. And it is easy to just gloss over what we're going through and not take time. Mm -hmm. How did this affect your marriage? Just that you, you know, you kind of carve that time out 20 minute video, half hour video, 15 minute video, and some of the exercises and the practices. Mm-hmm. What, 
how did that impact you guys? I think, I mean, it definitely helped us. I feel like it helped us know at least that we were, because we are both like type A, like, people and so I felt like we felt like we were doing like kind of what Pam was saying okay we're just doing what we can like so I think that was a big thing like okay we don't know what to do so we're gonna do this together and at least we know we're doing something to help us feel better um and like prioritizing each other and um even now just reviewing like what we have learned. I want to go back and watch the last module again about communication. Cause I feel like that's the most helpful thing about listening to each other. That whole last part was really helpful about listening to each other, repeating what the other person is feeling. So we need more practice on that. But um, that one was really helpful. I think it just like pushed us cause this, yeah, it pushed us to just talk about the difficult things that, I mean, especially the guys don't really want to talk about, yeah. you know, so I think that was really good. It pushed us. And, and a lot of times we don't know how to talk about it, but when you think about your own growing up years, did you have parents that talked openly about grief or what grief is or how to manage the emotions related to grief? I don't think so. Mm-mm. Yeah, I don't. Th- I think most of us didn't. Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a very different kind of journey that does need some some skills and practices mm-hmm. that can be learned. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, w- what were some of your biggest takeaways from the course? And um, let's see. I mean, I think the the feeling our feelings part about how. I forget the exact saying, but it's something like fish swim. Feeling is healing. (laughs) Yeah, feeling is healing. Fish swim, humans feel. So we we will say things like that to each other now. Like, um, so that was huge. Not feeling like we were alone. Um, And I think another huge part for us was that, I mean, we would love to live in Oregon and get counseling from Pam, but we don't. And so we started to get some marriage counseling locally. So I feel like this was kind of the springboard for that to be like, okay, this is great to talk about this, but we need more, like more specific, you know? And I think that was huge. Like, I don't think we would have done that. Um, Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. I, I think that's the biggest thing that I hear from moms that go through the course is that it cracks things open and it gives us a platform. It gives us kind of a launching pad to begin to talk about this. Cause it's like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what we need to talk about, or I don't really know a process that will progress us forward on the healing path. Yeah. And it sounds like not only did it crack things open, but it propelled you into even deeper work together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's been really good. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for taking time to share with us today. Thanks. I just appreciate your openness and your grief is still so close, only a little over a year, but you've Mm -hmm. been so intentional about doing incredibly good grief work. And because of that, I know, I know that the future is bright for you. And I know that God will continue unveil beautiful meaning and purpose in all of this even though the pain is, is very all and all consuming at times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks. We're, we're cheering for you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you could connect with the Facebook group. What difference has that made for you? Um, just when I can ask specific questions of what we're struggling with and then get responses, and I'm always telling my husband like whatever the responses are I feel like they're so helpful I feel like this isn't um and even though we went to like a Christian counselor near us I feel like the wisdom that Pam has is literally like off the charts like even if you get like two sentences back like I'm gonna start crying because I like really hang on to like everything Mm -hmm. that you say because I know that you understand and that you have been there and like plus you have all the research to back it and so I just feel like all your responses like I try to 
<laughs> to memorize them and like live by like everything that you're teaching me and in that group and it's not just Pam it's other girls too which is amazing just seeing their journeys gives me hope um because a lot of groups it's all about having a rainbow baby and some of the women in the group can't and I think it just like has opened my eyes that like to see their lives and that they're so hopeful and have so much purpose and it's not all about this like baby after a loss mm -hmm. and so that has been amazing in the group mm -hmm. um and then I love the lives where Pam and Jesse come on and we can type in our questions and so I always try to prioritize those again just to um the wisdom in the course is huge but then the additional that you get from the lives and your questions just like brings it to a new level of that you can't really get this anywhere else mm -hmm. um and I've been to a lot of counseling so I feel like it really is special mm -hmm. the group mm 